What's what's up, Turner fam? Welcome back to the channel, it's Steve Turner with Turner Fishing. Oh, it is. I want to say about six o'clock on the dot. Just got down here at uh, Buffalo Creek. I'm gonna head out, try to hit the hair in the bite. If that don't pan out, we'll go to the back of Buffalo Creek, see if we can't crank one on a frog. And then, uh, as it gets hot, we're gonna go look for some deeper points. Throw a 10 XD or something. Throw a big swim bait. Well, big swim bait in my case. Maybe a little swim bait in your case. Either way, the day's supposed to be beautiful. Clear, calm for a while. Then the wind picks up just a little bit, but it should be a crazy day for fishing, I hope. Hopefully we can catch a slaunch. I'm gonna head up late. We're gonna go hit up the, the islands real quick. And I'll try to explain more about how to target schooling fish or how to look for schooling fish or you know the areas that they like to get to the target here in this time of year so i'm gonna head up there get my line wet catch the donkey let's get it and if you're new to the channel and enjoy bass fishing or you know somebody that enjoys bass fishing share this video with them and if you could hit the little red button down below it would mean a lot to me my family and my dog rex Oh my god, oh my god. guys we just got here so the first thing I'm gonna do is just you know fish around and if I see schooling activity take a mental note and if they come up again in that same spot try to go over there and fish it so normally when I'm here they come up around here so I'm gonna start here and they ended up coming on on the other islands or the back side of the islands i'll just move that way and fish accordingly i'm gonna start off with the big bites suicide shad on a way to swim hook just see if we can get bit i mean a spook would work uh underspin you know stuff like that we're just out here looking i mean about 10 feet of water right now there's a, a, a pretty good amount of bait fish so they should be in here somewhere. I'll catch y'all when I get a bite or we make a new decision or something. Got it. Oh. Finally, got a bite. It's about nine o'clock. I've been fishing this point out here. Just, it's fishing on the graph, but like, they're not hitting the fluke. They're not hitting the top water. What else do I try? I tried a 10XD, shaky head, and finally I rigged up this little Carolina rig. I was coming over here to this point over here. Thought, well, I might as well throw out this dock. And there was a fish there. Wasn't a keeper, but it's progress, and I got to jerk on my new Blue Max. So that's cool. Darn it, I didn't get my camera on in time. Well, that's the second one on the Carolina rig. Look at this, guys. Don't ever be leaving no comments, fish offshore. Look, look, I'm offshore, got bite. Didn't turn the camera on because I was sitting down drinking my drink. And I didn't get a good hook set. He wasn't but about a pound, so, you know, all them comments, go offshore, you catch bigger fish. We're going to find out today. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually kind of having 
pretty good time. Carolina rig is kind of relaxing. Because, like, when I Texas rig, I do it. Like, you know, when I'm Texas rigging, I'm, I'm a power Texas rigger. I don't even know if that's a thing, but that's me. But, I mean, that's one bite. We're out here fishing the shoal right now. So, and there's a dog over there doing something. Anyways, hopefully I can get another bite. <sighs> yes! <laughs> Caught him winding in. 15 foot of water. Going deep for the big ones, guys. Now the wind got up real bad. Like When I checked the radar this morning, Dang, bro, you got hurt on the back. Freaking tail. Bigger than this whole box. <laughs> but, uh, not a wind getting up really bad. Well, I checked it this morning. It wasn't supposed to blow, but like 5 at max. And it ain't the 1030. So, I don't know. It's probably just blowing, like, these clouds through or something. Oh. But I don't know if he was suspended or I didn't give it enough time this is a pretty deep point that runs out right here it's rocky there's a brush pile over there that is out of the wind so it kind of helps me out right now but I mean I'll take those bites today I, I'm, I'm honestly like the more comfortable I get like doing a certain technique like, that's probably one of the first bass that actually went into the boat on a Carolina rig. Like, I mean, I've used the Carolina rig for, like, catfishing and striper fishing, stuff like that, but not just dragging uh, bait on the bottom, wanting a bass to bite. So, any catches, really. That's about the same size I've caught all day. But, like I said, the more confidence I get, the more I can get out here and actually find these fish. Guys, woo, it got hot. Oh man, it's about 3 p.m. So we fish for a good eight and a half hours, three fish. I'm not happy with it, guys. I am not happy with it. It's time to go home, get me something to eat, grill some hamburgers, you know. Give me, give me, give me, give me a grub on, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Look at the copyright YouTube music in the background. It'd be all right because I ain't even monetized yet. Anyway, guys, look, I need y'all's help. Like, if anybody wants to take me fishing, like, in your boat, you know, I, I want to learn this offshore thing. I do. Leave a comment down below. Hit me up on Instagram. We'll, we'll work things out. I get off at 2.30 during the week. You know, on the weekends, we can work something out. But I, I want to learn this offshore uh offshore bite that isn't the herring spawn so hit me up guys